So now we're going to talk about the Winters PFP series. The PFP is a premium pressure gauge. Again, like all our pressure gauges, it comes with a five-year warranty. Some of the features of the Winters PFP is all the all stainless versions, whether it's two and a half or four inch, have the socket electron beam welded to the case. The advantage of having that done is that it eliminates a leak point because these gauges do come liquid filled to prevent damage from pulsation and vibration and to dampen the needle out. And also if someone was to try to install it by turning it by hand instead of using a wrench on the flats, they're less likely to damage the gauge because the socket is now welded to the case. The PFP gauges come in ranges from full vacuum compound up to 20,000 PSI off the shelf. We're actually increasing our pressure range up to 40,000 PSI with special high pressure connections on them. The PFP, as we said, can be bottom connect on the two and a half, the four inch, and it actually comes in a six inch version too. It can be back connected, which is generally center back on the two and a half, but it will be a lower back connection on the four inch and on the six inch version. It can come with front flanges, back flanges, U-clamps for panel mounting, as well as if it's a dual scale, it will come with an orifice restrictor in its standard. As you can see, the very reduced size of the orifice so that it'll slow down any pulsation or surges that go up into the gauge to protect the movement from being knocked out of calibration. Another feature of the PFP 4-inch is that it has a blowout plug in the back. This standard isn't considered a safety case by itself because there's no protection behind the dial between the Bordon tube and the dial. However, if the Bordon tube was to fail catastrophically, the pressure would be relieved out the back before it would come out the front towards the operator who may be standing in front of it. It also has a ventable plug on the top. You'll notice it has a uh, stainless steel plunger in the middle of the rubber fill grommet. And so if pressure was building up inside the case, you'd want to vent it, which means relieve the pressure. All you have to do is just pull up on the plunger and when it's in the pulled up position, you know that the gauge is vented. That will relieve any built up pressure. When you're done and you want to seal it because maybe the gauge is vibrating and you don't want liquid to migrate out, all you have to do is push it back down and that would then close it so that no liquid would come out of the gauge. Our competitors use a lever handle. The problem is without looking at the top to see the word closed or open, you don't know what position it's in. With the Winters version, if it's pulled up, you know it's venting. If it's pushed down, it's closed. So we have that both on our two and a half and our four inch version. Again, these gauges are made for heavy duty industrial applications. They come liquid filled standard and they have full-size movements in them. As you can see, this is a beefy gauge, has full-size board-on tubes. The accuracy of the four inch is 1% full scale. The accuracy of the two and a half inch is one and a half percent full scale. They come standard with an acrylic lens, but it's also available in laminated safety glass as well as uh, other materials.